Next question is from DJ's 20. EAAs versus BCAAs. Are they both useless for the average gym goer? I'm, this, glad, I'm glad you grabbed this because I've had a bunch of people DM me about this. Yeah, that, this is still a thing, which is what... Oh. Quite, okay, so, so, so essential EAA stands for essential amino acids. The reason why they're called... This, so there's two essential macronutrients. Uh, we have three macronutrients, right? Proteins, fats, and carbs. Only two of them are essential, meaning you have to consume them for your body to just function. And in fact, if you avoid them for long enough, uh, you can actually starve. And those are fats and proteins. Fats and proteins are essential. In fats, you have essential fatty acids. They're essential because your body has to, you have to eat them in order to get them. Your body can't create them. With proteins, proteins are made up of amino acids. There are non-essential amino acids that your body can actually make. And then there are essential amino acids that your body can't make. You have to consume them. They're essential. Okay, so that's what EAA is. Branch chain amino acids are three of those essential amino acids. So there's, there's 10 essential amino acids. The branch amino acids are three of those. And those three have been shown to do special things in the body. So what do supplement event manufacturers and, and what does the industry do? They say, oh, these are essential amino acids. You have to eat them. Oh, branch amino acids have special properties, especially when it comes to recovery and, and muscle building. So if you just supplement with them, then you're going to get you know better muscle building uh, re results and better recovery. This is true if your protein intake is low. If your protein intake is low, supplementing with either one of these, you'll notice benefits. If your protein intake is high, if you're eating you know 0.6 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight, if you have a normal body weight, if you're obese, then you want to use your, your what would be considered normal body weight for your height. If you're eating that much protein, any additional amino acids uh, do nothing. You're getting the max benefit that you're going to get from amino acids. And supplementing with them doesn't do anything extra for you. And the studies are consistent. When you give branched amino acids to vegans uh, who, who typically consume low protein or essential amino acids, they do better. They recover faster. They tend to build more muscle. When you give these amino acids to people who eat a high protein diet, it's like, you know, you guys ever seen that meme where there's the the he's dumping the water on his head. Yeah, he's, he's, in, he's in the pool and he's yeah. throwing water on his head. Yeah, it's 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 not going to do anything extra for you for supplementing with them. So you know, it's it's kind of a waste. And it's it's by the way, amino acids were some of the first bodybuilding supplements ever to hit the market. They were some of the first. You know, first they sold protein, and the very next thing that they started selling was they started saying amino acids. And for whatever reason, every five years or so, it, it falls out of favor, and then it comes back in favor with some new person who's saying, this is the greatest thing. If they're not new, they've been around forever, we studied them for very long. If you have high protein diet, it's a waste of money. So what do you say to somebody? Because the, the argument that somebody would make is that, well... You know, I keep them on hand then in case I don't hit my protein intake for the day, and then I make sure I take them at the end of the night in case I don't hit my protein. Just take protein. Then that's the, that's how I respond to somebody. Yeah, it, one it, scoop of of whey protein or one scoop of uh, if you, let's say you're vegan or you don't like dairy because it bothers you, so you go with the Organifi complete protein. One scoop of that, right? Let's say it's 15 grams of protein. 15 grams of protein is is 1,500 milligrams of amino acid. And a large part of that are essential amino acids and branched amino acids. You know, three branched amino acid tablets or one scoop of branched amino acids or essential amino acids isn't going to come close to a scoop of your protein powder. Which one is cheaper, protein powder or essential amino acid supplements? If you compare them on a dosage basis, protein powder is cheaper. Because in order to get essential amino acids, what, here's what the companies are doing. They're going to protein sources. Yeah, extracting. And then they're separating them. It's, it's, it's more steps to create a, an inferior product. So, you know, again, if you have low protein intake and you struggle with that, and for whatever reason you don't want to supplement with a protein powder and you like the taste of your, you know, lemonade-flavored watermelon, whatever, you know, BCAA. You know, yeah. Watermelon, then, dude. Then, yeah, then, then, then I guess that's fine, but it's not going to benefit you. It's not going to do anything for you if your protein intake is high. So they market it a lot mm -hmm. because we know what amino acids do. They have important roles in the body. Essential amino acids, extremely important. Great margins for the supplement company. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> but again, if, you, if, if, if they're, they're important, but if you're getting... There's a point where you get enough. 
and more does nothing. It's like vitamins, you know. It's like you know, vi- you know, vitamin C is great for immune mm. system. Okay, does that mean taking, you know, a million mm. times the normal dose? Piss it out. Yeah, it's not going to benefit you anymore. Same thing with carbs. I, I remember uh, in the I'd say probably 15 years ago, uh, carb supplements were actually popular. Remember this when you would buy a Carbo Load or mm-hmm. you know these drinks, and it's because athletes knew that carbs gave you energy for sports. And so this is before all before before people thought carbs made you fat, right? So athletes, bodybuilders would actually buy carbo load or carbo whatever yeah, I remember. drinks because oh carbs give me energy and then therefore more is gonna give me, you know, more and yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work that way. So amino acids, uh supplementation, um essential and, and branching, waste of money if your protein intake is high. If your protein intake is low and you don't want to take protein powder, then yes, you'll benefit from them.